Okay, so day one of recovery, obviously, I um, wasn't able to actually tell you then, but day one of recovery wasn't actually too bad. Um, a bit sore here and there, obviously, what was expected at my scar. I'm finding that at my left side of the scar, it's a lot more bruised than anywhere else. So I'm finding that really sore, but in terms of walking about and things like that, I'm actually up on my feet quite a lot. Um, I'm able to hold baby, I'm able to do everything for baby kind of thing like that. Um, I would say the pain's more in my back. On the It was on the first day, but the first night was absolutely horrendous. Um, I was up every hour puking, like, I mean, project vomiting. Um, and it was hurting my stomach because my stomach was like, that's where, like, the vomit was kind of coming from, if you know what I mean. Um, and obviously, it was really sore, it was burning, I was crying and... It was just a horrible night, but I suppose it's what you expect in day two, isn't it? Like, yeah, so I'm just happy. Like, I think more of having the baby here is making it, like, a lot more easier than just being in pain all the time. Um, but, yeah, so, all good to see. Okay, so, um, I don't know what's just happened to my camera. Just what a funny colour, I don't know what's going on. Apologies, I don't actually know what's going on with my camera. Um, so it is day two recovery and um, I'm actually feeling a lot better today. After being all sick last night, I think it's actually made me feel a lot better. Obviously still pain in the scar. Um, but that's genuinely it at the moment. Like I'm not feeling anything else really dehydrated um i'm keeping on top of my medicine as well obviously is what you have to do um but yeah i'm actually feeling all right just really pain in the scar but that's obviously that is expected um i'm just dreading taking these blood thinning things because they just don't go well with me to be honest so let's see how i am tomorrow okay so it is day three of recovery i'm feeling fantastic today i'm feeling really fully energy today actually and um, the only problem i've had today is i woke up and my boobs are like golf balls like literally like it feels like i've just had a boob job during the night like they're so painful um and they're so hard and there's no milk coming out them which is the problem obviously um so i'm gonna have to try and find a way to kind of <laughs> milk them because I'm not breastfeeding so that's the only problem I've had today um nothing else not really any pain in my scar I've not had to take my paracetamol or anything like that um but I'm just going to try and keep on top of them anyway just in case it does get so later on today but apart from that um everything's been totally fine I've been up walking about doing a couple washings and things probably shouldn't be this early but you know what it's like when you have like another child and you can't just sit on the sofa and let them totally wreck the house because you have visitors up coming to see the new baby. So yeah, I've been doing some washings, I've been tidying up. I've actually not even washed my hair, if I'm honest, it looks like a greasy mess because I've just been doing so much around the house trying to get everything tidy. But at the same time trying to like pace myself so that I'm not overdoing it too much. Um, but yeah, so day three recovery is... I'm so surprised with how well I'm actually coping because um, after having Everose on the day three, I was still in the hospital and I was in agony, like constantly in agony. But I'm totally feeling so much more energised. I think it might have been the plan section this time as well. That might have been one of the things that's like totally changed it. Um, obviously because she was in emergency and that was really hard to deal with. But yeah, I'm feeling totally amazing. Um, not fitting into any of my clothes yet, just yet, but we'll get there honestly. It takes a while, but honestly, it is so worth it. Um, the only thing I'm feeling as well at the moment is obviously because my boobs are like golf balls and it looks like I've just had a boob job. Um, I'm finding it quite hard to breathe properly. I think that is just because the boobs are so like so tight and so stuck to me um, because I've obviously never had boobs like that in my life. But yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I'm happy with the recovery and I'm just not taking it. I'm just going to take it a day at a time, to be honest. And I'll update you guys tomorrow on what's going on. Okay, so it's day four of recovery. I'm just out the shower, just washed my hair. 
feeling totally energised today. Um, the only problems I've really had is my scar burning again. Um, I've got another fit today, so I'm going to mention it to her. But apart from that, it's looking good. Okay, so it is day five of recovery. It's all right. Um, so it's day five of recovery. I'm feeling worse than I ever have. Um, just I had my scar. Um, I had the thing removed that was like hiding my scar, the dressing. I had it removed yesterday and ever since it has been in agony. Like it's really sore, like <clears throat> like stretching pains or something. Sorry, my daughter's dragging a scooter up um, the stairs. Yeah, so yeah, it's been really sore. I've had shooting pains in it ever since. I'm trying to keep it off of my medication. But today has not been a good day so far. I feel ill. I've just slept all day and I just hope it gets better from here because I felt totally fine until today as well. So let's just hope tomorrow's a better day. Okay, so it's day six of recovery and I think this has still been the worst day yet. Like I've just cried all day. Look at that face. <laughs> I've just cried all day. I'm just in so much pain. I don't think I've not felt pain like this until today. Um, I just think, shall I just adjust and get used to life with two kids? It's going to be quite hard, but it's going to be worth it, obviously. Cause look at that wee face. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so today's been the hardest. Um, I'll probably update you guys tomorrow and then that's kind of it. Just like wrap this vlog up here tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow's a better day for us all. Okay, so it is currently day seven of recovery. Today I'm feeling loads better than yesterday. Um, obviously I just cried all day yesterday. But today I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still in a bit of pain, but day seven of recovery is kind of what was expected for the first at least two weeks to be in a lot of pain. Um, I'm finding it hard to walk far as well without being in agony. Um, back pain is probably the worst it's ever been. But I suppose that is expected when I had a spinal. Um, so yeah, just really trying to get on and do normal basic things like tidy the house, obviously no hoovering or anything like that for a while, but just really trying to get on and tidy the house and doing the dishes and looking after both kids and just really settling into the life of having two children. Um, so yeah, that's oh, kind no. of my recovery story. Mm -hmm. um, I thought, to be honest, <laughs> Um, I thought to be honest, I was gonna it was gonna be a breeze on day one, two, three, four, and then it hurt me right at the end. That it's not gonna be as easy as I thought for the first couple of days. But I'm just learning the state of my hair. I'm just learning to take it easy now. And yeah, and if um, yeah, I've had a C-section or even any kind of delivery, please do look after yourself and recover fully. And don't do it too much because if you do too much then you end up like setting yourself back when you end up really hurting yourself or something so yeah that's really it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and also check out my other videos 